What's up, everybody? It's Mr. You Know Who. And today, guys, I'm bringing you a brand new video for PS4 Save Wizard on how to add a profile to your client. I thought I made this video sometime back showing you guys how to do this, but I never made the video, and I'm sorry. So I'm here to make up for that and show you guys how to add a profile to your client and make it as simple as possible for you guys to understand. And I'm also not trying to make this video too long, but I need to cover everything you need to know to add a profile to your client, especially for someone who just bought Save Wizard and who is unfamiliar on what to do and how to do it. So I'm going to show you everything you need to know. So step one, you need to go to SaveWizard.net and go to their supported games and look through their cheat database here which you can scroll over here and look for a game that you physically have. It doesn't matter if it's the disk-based game or it's downloaded and see that you have this game listed here. If you physically have the game, you can start to set up your profile. So first things first, make sure you have a game from their supported game list. Disk-based or download doesn't really matter and you need to save that game under the profile you want to set up with save wizard that is step one you cannot use a save that you have downloaded from a site to set up your profile on save wizard so what that means is that the save has to physically be on your playstation 4 if you have a game from their supported list, then you can go and start to set up Save Wizard. The second thing that you need to know is you need to have logged on to PlayStation Network at least one time and set up your yeah, Save Data application. So I'll show you guys what that is. So let me go to my PlayStation 4. And as you guys can see on my Elgato, I'm going to scroll over to my settings. Just bear with me for one second. And I'm going to go up. And I'm going to click on settings. And I'm going to go down a couple. Just bear with me. Just a couple more now. And one more. And one more. So as you guys can see, it's called your application save data management. So if you have a game, like I said, from the supported game list and you save the game to your profile, mine's is Saudi beta. So let's say I played NBA 2K Playground 2. I save the game to my Saudi profile. The next thing I need to do is take the save off of my PlayStation 4. So that is why I say you have to at least log into PlayStation Network one time, go to your application save data management, and activate that feature. So if you activate it, you would have this screen right here. I would stick a USB flash drive either into slot 1 or slot 2 doesn't really matter and then I can go and click on save data in system storage right I'm gonna click on it and then I could copy the save to a USB storage device aka my flash drive and I could click on it and as you guys can see I have NBA 2k playground 2 I'm going to copy that save onto my USB flash drive. And as you guys can see, I could click on it, I could check it, and then I could hit copy. So give me a second. And as you guys can see, it's going to copy onto my USB flash drive. If you have never been on PlayStation Network at all, this feature, let me go back. Let me go back. Right. So if you haven't been on the PlayStation Network at all, the application save data management feature 
will not be activated. And if that is not activated, you cannot take the save off your PlayStation. So, you need to, like I said, sign into PSN one time, go to your application save data management, right? And go to your save data and system storage and activate that feature. Once it's activated and it only takes one time, then you can take the saves off your PlayStation 4. I would also recommend for you guys, if you know you have your main account, a second account, and a dummy account, all of those accounts have to be activated with this feature so that you can take the saves off your PlayStation 4. If you don't have that feature activated, no matter what you do and how you try to do it, it will not work and you can't use Save Wizard at all. So you can still have the game, play it, save it, but if you didn't go online, you can't take the Save Wall, which you cannot add your profile to your Save Wizard client. So you're screwed. So pretty much make sure you do these two things prior to actually buying Save Wizard. If you do these two things, you're good to go. So as you guys already saw, I copied the save onto my USB flash drive. Now I'm going to go over to my computer and bring up Save Wizard and then show you guys, once you copy the save, how to add it to the actual client. So just bear with me for one second while I switch over to my computer. So what's up everyone, I'm back at my computer. And as you guys can see, my Save Wizard is open. And I plugged in my USB flash drive to my computer. And as you guys can see, here's my flash drive. You see the PS4 folder, my save data. And this right here with 770A, this is the profile of my Saudi beta. But when it copied the save, over to my flash drive it will create a folder with a whole bunch of numbers and letters and just keep in mind that this is the profile that you copy the save to so if you have a main a dummy and you do your main account first right just make sure you know this number and know that this is your main one I would not recommend for you to log into your dummy and your main and copy two saves because you may not know which one is your main and which one is your dummy. I would do one profile at a time. As you guys can see, there's only one folder on my flash drive. And when I copied the save, it was 2K or NBA 2K Playground 2. And it created this, which is my Saudi beta. So I know that this right here with the save inside of here is for my Saudi beta. So let me go back to my save wizard and show you guys two things. Obviously how to add the profile and how to delete a profile. To add a profile, once you copy the save to your USB flash drive, all you need to do is go to resign, double click right here, and it highlights the game save and right click. And it says register the profile. That's all you need to do. Once I click on this, it adds the profile to Save Wizard. Now, like I said to you before, this is my Saudi beta profile. So what I need to do is come over here and add that in so that I know anytime I reassign a save or a copy a save, Save Wizard would recognize the profile that it's under. So if I spelled it wrong, forgive me, but that's what I want. And hit apply. And that's it. I can hit close. It's taking a second to upload that profile to my client. Just give it a second. Everything's working. But that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do to add a profile to say wizard. So once that's done, I'm going to show you guys how to remove a profile from your client. And it's not that hard to do. Just give it a second 
it's actually, you know, adding the profile. So you're saying to me, Mr. You Know Who, how do I know that the profile is added? Just go to your settings. You see there's three bubbles. Mine's had two. I just added the Saudi. Click on Profile Manager. And as you guys can see, it's right there. So this profile has now been added to my say wizard. Now do keep in mind, if you want to remove this profile from your say wizard, you can only do it after 30 days. You cannot do it before that. So once you add a profile, you have to wait 30 days. Then you can highlight this, right click, and you can hit delete. As you guys can see, mine is shaded gray because I just added a profile. So I have to wait 30 days. Had it been a profile that I already added, like my dummy account, I could delete it. And once I hit delete, it'll remove it. And then after that, an extra bubble will disappear from here. And I'll have two more to add instead of just one more to add. And that's pretty much it. There's nothing to it. There's no magic, no nothing. And that's all it is to add in a profile to save Wizard. So once again, I'll recap. You need to go on the SaveWizard.net, go to their supported games, look to see from the list of their database, you have a game, doesn't matter if it's digital or disk-based, it needs to at least be on the supported game list. If you have a game that is on the supported game list, then you need to play the game, save, then exit the game. Then you need to make sure you activate save data management from your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation Pro and take the game save off. Again, if you never been online and you never been on PSN, and you never activated that feature, you cannot take the game save off. Therefore, you cannot use Save Wizard. So make sure you at least go online one time, your application save data management, turn it on, then, like I said, stick in the USB flash drive, take the game save off, and it's activated and you're good to go and you can go and set up Save Wizard. I hope that this was helpful. And as always, if you guys need me, send me an email on my YouTube page and I'll try to respond in a reasonable amount of time. But as always, I thank you guys for watching my video and peace.